Hi, this is Erin Holcomb. I am um, IT support and agent services for Keller Williams The Woodlands. And today uh, we're going to talk about the office intranet. And there are three different ways we have to get to the office intranet. And the first is by logging on to kw.com. When you're on this page, uh, you can go to MC Web Office, click that, and that's going to take you straight to our Market Center pa um, login page. You can also type in www.kwmc22.webexone.com and that's going to take you straight there too. And then the third way, and this is probably the easiest one to remember, www.kwwoodlands.net and remember .net, um, .com is going to take you to our main page um, and not to this. So logging in, you should have that on page 12 of your resource manual. If not, you can always click forgot your password. Um, you can either input your username or your email address. If you don't know, um, if it turns out that your email address used for this is not the email address you're currently using or is a former email address, um, just give me a call and we can take care of that. So once this finishes loading, um, you have a few different options as to what to do. The main page, um, the announcements, sometimes you get those emails from other agents uh, that will say to go to the office intranet to take a look at what they have. And this is what it is. So you can add one of these two. All you do is click new and uh, it'll pop up and just write your your text and it will send out an email to all of the agents to let them know that you have something right up here. And then there are a few for permanent things uh, that the staff has put up like the HUD letter. You may need that um, if you're doing something with a HUD home. Our calendar of events, this is what we have going on here at the office for the next week. What's new, new agents who may have joined, new documents that have been uploaded onto the site, and then links. This will show you, um, this will actually take you to things like CSS, Trek, HAR, uh, the video, the videos, this is where you found this. Um, and also showcase, and this will be important later in a later video when we actually do showcase. Uh, but this, this link will take you to showcase and you won't have to remember the website. Also you can add weather. One of the things I get asked about most on this site is um, how do I send a mass email? So it's really easy to do. All you do is click send email and it'll pop up and once that's done all you do is click to and another pop-up will come up You'll choose who you want. You can choose a select number of people by name. Uh, it's all done by first name. Or you can choose all members or all administrators or just agents and that would send it just to the agents. All members is going to send it to everyone who has um, been added here. And then you'll click to and finally you'll click done and then you'll write the text of your email, sub insert the subject, insert any attachments that you may have and click send down here and that's going to send it to all of the members. Another thing I get asked about a lot is um, where your documents are located and that's if you click right here under documents and there are a number of different folders, forms And this is where most of the forms that you'll need on a regular basis are located. Facts cover sheet, green sheet, uh, the inspector list. Um, it's updated rather frequently. Anytime that we get a new sponsor who's an inspector, 
there are a number of additional forms under Office Documents, and then of course waivers will all be under Waivers. If you go back, things like logos, pictures, and symbols, these would be things that you might need for flyers. There's also some um, flyer samples in here, information about short sales, the telephone and email list. This is updated about every week. Um, you'll find the telephone and email list that the staff uses. So you can download it yourself. It's an Excel file. Print it out. There's also some voicemail instructions. It's similar to what we went over in the phone basics. Some additional forms. And you can also, if you think that you have something that other agents might need, you can always upload uh, your documents here. Uh, just click New and you'll download your document into this and um, stick. you can stick it in one of the files if it goes there or it would just wind up here if it doesn't have any particular place to go. Another thing I recommend you doing is click on Members. And Once this comes up, find your own name and we'll go to Mine. And click on it. and take a look to see what it says. Make sure that the phone numbers on here are correct or if there are any phone numbers, your title and of course that the email address that's on here is the email address that you're currently using. This will keep you uh, in the loop as far as emails go since most people send from here. Also make sure that you're actually a member of the agent group or any group that you want to be a member of. If you want more property time, uh, let me know and I'll add you to the agents who want more property time. And there's also discussions. Every once in a while someone will open up um, a topic. It's, it's a forum for us. Uh, for different things, uh, people who need open houses, um, people who need someone to replace them for property time, Rent, rentals needed. So there's a lot of things on here that you want to take a look at and if you have any questions about it just give me a call at 281-364-4897 or you can send me an email. My email address is erinh -E at kw.com.